friends welcome back to my channel sorry i didn't have a video for you last week but so many things going on the week just kind of got away from me so we are going to show you in this week's video we did our shopping and got some odds and ends at walmart and i think we spent a little over 200 um we did get a lot of like keto friendly snacks and things like that which as you guys know and we got some meat so that adds adds up pretty well but I think all in all it's definitely cheaper to go there so we may start going there for some products and then going to our regular store for the other ones and thank you for all your comments I switched my hair out my extensions out and changed the color so the extensions I have in now are kind of like an ombre where it goes kind of darker to lighter and these ones are like super curly so I don't have to do my hair um, I can just leave my hair curly and it's like all in here <laughs> and I don't have to do anything so it's wonderful um, but thank you for all your sweet comments so we went to Walmart we had a whole bunch of stuff um, which I am going to show you and some odds and ends we are going on vacation in I think it's like 82 days now or 80 days and we're going on a cruise so I keep a lot of travel size products in stock in our home and then I go through and see what we used last time and what needs to be replenished so that when I start going to the store like a couple months before, I'll just start refilling um, all the things that we used up on the last trip. And I am going to make, be making quite a few cruise packing, cruise essentials, cabin essential video. So if you guys are cruisers or vacationers and you're looking forward to seeing those, they are upcoming. So anyway, I poured a glass of wine it is 3 30 but as you know helen jackson said it's five o'clock somewhere <laughs> so we're just gonna go with that so i'm gonna spin you guys around and i'm gonna show you all of the products that we got and let's get started okay so first and foremost you need to have wine so i got two red blends i got the boggle which i usually get and then i got josh and i really have been liking this one so i picked up two of those and then my husband got a sangria. He usually likes this blueberry wine, um, but they didn't have any. They had some on order for him special. So that's kind of cool. So then as everybody knows, we are kind of ketoing slash low carb, low sugar, trying not to eat any if, if we can. Um, so we buy a lot of like sugar-free cookies. So these are sugar-free and if you only have one or two, it's okay. And then the Quest ones are always good, and there's 15 grams of protein, less than a gram of sugar, and four net carbs. So that is high in protein, which we like. So we got a bunch of those, and we got a chocolate one too. We got some zero sugar beef jerky, because it's always good to snack on. So as you can see in this haul, we got kind of replenished a lot of the snacks that we have eaten. So tonight we're having chili, and we always put a few Fritos in our chili, and even though um, they are not carb keto friendly, we still like them and sometimes you gotta live on the edge. <laughs> so we're gonna live on the edge. And then we bought um, a big bag, big bags at Walmart. We didn't realize that of the um, pork rinds. So we picked that up. We also got some sour cream for chili tonight. We snack on cheese like nobody's business. <laughs> we still have a bunch of cheese in the refrigerator but we'll definitely run out, so we grabbed some more. And then I have been leaving these on my desk at work. Um, these ones are the wasabi and soy sauce. I've also done the chili lime, and I've done the Korean barbecue, and I love them all. So it's a great way to get more protein in with not that much carb or sugar. I don't know if it'll focus. Um, so almonds are always a great source of protein, and these ones just have seasoning on it, so totally carb friendly. And yes, guys, I finally broke down and bought eggs. So I'm so proud, so proud of us for getting eggs this week. And these are like the extra large eggs and they were a little over $4. So we were so excited to finally get eggs again because I wasn't going to pay $10 for this. I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> so I didn't and now they were a little over four. A couple other snacks, these are Atkins snacks. So again, um, they have fiber. They have low carbs, they have lots of protein, and these are the brownie, crispy brownies. And then my husband picked up um, the keto, sorry about the light, the keto fat cups. They're, they're uh, like peanut butter cups. 
So if we ever are craving chocolate or a snack, at least we have healthy ones to go to. And then we bought some more. We really like the Febreze spray in lavender, so we picked up some more. You have to keep your house fresh, especially when you have kitties. Then usually I get keto yogurt, um, but I didn't want to go to the grocery store too. So we just ended up getting the Light and Fit. It's half strawberry and half blueberry. Very low calories, um, lots of protein, and I think it's less than two grams of sugar. So that was good. And then coffee is another thing. Um, I've been finding that the good value at Walmart, the donut shop coffee, is really good. It tastes a lot like if you guys have a Dunkin' Donuts, or just Dunkin' now, I guess that's what they're called, but like coffee shop coffee, this is a very good um, choice for it because it tastes just like like a Dunkin' Donuts one or like the Starbucks Blonde Roast, the very light one. So that's always a good option. My husband picked up this. I don't even know what it is. Body armor something. But he picked that up. I don't know what it is. What is this? This body armor stuff. Scott. Okay, so it's for sports people. So I guess we're working out. So then with my coffee, as everybody knows, I am kind of a coffee snob. But I've been doing, instead of reaching for um, a lot of the almond milk creamers and things like that, I have kind of gone back, and I go back and forth to the half and half. So what I'll do is when I make my coffee, I'll put some of this in a cup and I'll uh, heat it up. And then I use my frother to make froth. And I put this in my coffee and a little cinnamon powder on top, just like Starbucks. So at Starbucks, I always get a cafe latte with cinnamon powder, so I do that and it tastes just like it. So we're gonna keep that going. <laughs> and then I bought some cottage cheese and I've been doing, again, lots of protein in here. So with the cottage cheese, I've been taking a little bit of it and then mixing it with these cranberries and glazed walnuts. Um, sometimes I eat it for lunch, sometimes for a snack and it is so good. And again, high protein. So for the chili, we got some cans of tomato sauce, and then we've got some dark red kidney beans, which I will drain. Even though you're not supposed to, I still kind of do. Um, and I already have hamburger, so we're all set there. We got the big thing of cheese, because we're constantly buying cheese to put like on our salads or on burgers and things like that. So finally I said, you know what, let's just get the big cheese. So he did. So we have some chili packets for tonight, and then I have been so enjoying these. So these are like the ready to eat tuna that are flavored. So I got ginger sesame, I got some hot buffalo, and I have had this one and it's awesome. And I got some chunk like tuna, uh, lemon pepper. I got some spicy Thai chili, and I got some ranch. And they are so high in protein, so good for you. Hardly any carbs or sugar. I don't even know if there are any. Let's see, yeah, there's a little bit, but they are so good for you. And usually I'll have my cottage cheese with my fruit and nuts, and then I will also eat this. And then I'll have like a little snack later. I also got up some seasonings for chicken, I bought some Caribbean jerk, and I bought some garlic Parmesan. We did break down also and get shake and bake, because who doesn't love shake and bake? <laughs> Even though it's not carb friendly, there's not a lot of carbs in it, so we're gonna have shake and bake. Then these are things that my husband gets for his lunch, and they are kind of already made. You just gotta heat them up. So we got some um, chicken, we got some steak fajitas, and he'll throw this meat also in salads. And then he also got some beef tips. So we're all good there. And I got two of these um, that I just showed you, because I'll use one to sprinkle in my cottage cheese during the week, and then I got another one for salads. We needed some more ketchup, so we bought the generic kind, but hey, <laughs> you know, you gotta balance out some money somewhere. And then we got a big thing of chicken legs. And what I'm gonna do is split this package in half. So we'll have half one night, and then we have another dinner another night. And they were on sale, so we were happy about that. One night we're gonna have BLTs on keto bread. So we bought a big thing of uh, bacon. And then these, the hamburger patties were also on sale. So there were 12 of them for like $15 or something like that. So these are definitely um, 
cheaper than at our local grocery store. Oops, just picked up those. Got some more cat food. Our cats love this kind. That's their favorite. Got a head of lettuce. Um, I told you guys a story where my husband was in the grocery store once and paid $6 for lettuce. I couldn't believe he did that. This one was $1.99, so that is fine. And that's what I got for food. And then I picked up um, just a cute little pair of jammies. I think they were more like a Valentine's Day ones, but they have like the little shorts on the back. And then this is the little shirt. And it's like that um, really soft material. So I'm gonna pack those away and those will go on vacation. So I have to replenish, I got two of them. So two little hairsprays to bring. I got a small um, hair oil because when you are on the cruise, you pretty much have to wash your hair every day and my hair will severely dry out. So I always keep this in our cruise bag because um, so I can oil, you know, my hair puts a little bit of nutrients back in. Got the trusty downy wrinkle release because you can't go anywhere without that. And then just to like, I usually spray the room down in Lysol when we first go in and then throughout the cruise. So I bought a little one. Then a lot of times when we go on the island, we go shopping. I don't really feel like bringing a big beach bag or bringing big totes with me. So I bought this and I thought it was so cute. And it's the Time and True brand. It's like a little fanny pack crossbody bag. It was only $7. It has like the front pocket for your phone and like my cruise card and things like that. And then the interior, I can put like any money I may have. And I have asthma, so I have to bring my inhaler everywhere I go. A uh, little, you know, I usually bring some band-aids or something just in case. So this will just fit whatever we need to just kind of walk around the island, go shopping and things like that. Or maybe sit and have a drink somewhere and look at the ocean. And I grabbed that. So that is my full haul. So everything from wine to fanny packs, ladies. Everything from wine to fanny packs. Well, that was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little Walmart haul and wine haul and all the little things that we're going to be bringing on vacation. And again, stay tuned because a lot of vacation content is coming your way along with a surprise announcement, but you're going to have to wait until we get close enough where I can tell you about it. I can't tell you yet, so you have to wait. And that's it. So I hope you guys have a great week. Please leave any comments below if you want to know um, how my recipes turned out or if you have a recipe you'd like to share, please share with us because this is you know, the great place to us women can share things. So anyway, hope you guys have a great day and I will see you later. See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.